there's a demand that the rehearsal hall must be safe. I don't want to go and work in a place where I'm not safe. Well, I think that's actually less problematic than people of our generation think it might be because um, I was the first one to be cynical about int intimacy coordinators. Oh my God, I saw a play at Stratford that was totally, and the matter they dealt with was really out there. And oh my gosh, it worked, intimacy coordination. So I'm completely on that page. And we've both been in rehearsal halls where there were a really, truly abus abusive situations. Yes. Right. We have I've seen... had young actors coming to me saying, he stuck his tongue down my throat. Right. And, and saying to me, is that okay? And you go, no, that's not okay. But in that time, and, I, and I, I did an audition where that actor was a reader 30 years later, and she, you know, she came to me and she said, thank you, thank you. You know, and you don't, cause, but in those days, there was no manner of way to deal with it. I mean, I could intercede and go to the stage manager and say, this is happening and that's not acceptable. But in, the, in, the, in that time, there was no, there was probably no journey for that stage manager to, to right because that actor was, could basically do what he wanted, right?